welcome back to my channel and welcome it to another house update vlog um we've done a couple videos in this house update series um just showing you guys kind of getting our townhouse ready um john already lives here obviously and then i'm gonna be moving in once we get married in next february um yeah so we've been decorating it and getting everything ready and doing things little by little um pretty much the whole downstairs is done i would say besides we might like do something to the little bathroom down there um like get a vanity but we got dining room set living room everything else is pretty much good unless we do stuff to the kitchen and bathroom but today we're gonna be putting it together side tables that we bought for the bedroom we're gonna be tackling like the upstairs finally we figured we wouldn't really like worry about the bedroom until like this year because i mean now it's like a year out from like when i'm gonna be moving in it's like 360 days yeah we just passed our like negative one year anniversary yeah. <laughs> so um yeah we figured we'd start getting stuff for the bedrooms and just finishing the rest of the house because it's been just him this whole time and it's like i mean i'll show you guys like the room situation pretty right simple now. Yeah, it's, I'm a simple guy. He's right. still, yeah, it's what you would expect from probably still someone like a guy that would be in like college or on his own at 23. So don't expect much, but a lot of it is like you still have like your comforter from college and like there was no point in him just like getting a bunch of new stuff just for me to come and like us redo it all anyways. So the idea was to kind of like get things little by little and um, like make it our own and it'll be ready, perfect for whenever I move in. So. Yeah, we went to Ikea, when was it, like last week? Before? Two weeks ago. Maybe. Um, and we got our two side tables. Uh, we've been looking at beds online, but we did go ahead and get our bedding. So we got a duvet and duvet cover, sheets, um, pillows, well, like sham pillows. And um, yeah, I think that's it so far. So we have to actually order a bed. We haven't done that yet. We haven't decided on one. Right now he just has like a wooden like full like bed frame, but we're gonna get one that's it's a queen. That's all I meant. I meant like it was like a full. I'm trying to say I have a full. No, no I'm saying like it's a full right. like a headboard footboard whatever. Yeah, he has a queen size bed whatever. We debated going ahead and finding like switching to a king because I feel like everyone ends up like changing to a king. I don't know. I feel like everyone wants to upgrade, and I mean I guess we can do that eventually and just keep his queen for now. That's what we decided. To do and then eventually we can move into the guest room whenever we do want to get a king but we do want to change out like the bed itself um just to get like a different frame for it and we're gonna do something kind of like lower to the ground with like maybe like an upholstered like fabric kind of just like really simple kind of modern um i can put some pictures of like what we're looking at and doing all white bedding we figured we could tie in like some topes and gray kind of like with the bed frame and then also like throw pillows and stuff well, I used to be a lot about like the all white kind of look and I feel like I've like started liking a lot more like tans and topes and gray beige kind of colors. So we did want to go with like the all white bedding, probably like a tan gray bed and then like tie it with throw pillows. Um, I was really still even debating um, our furniture, like the dresser and side tables because we ended up going with white, but I was kind of wanting to do like a like stained wood like grayish brown but like everything was either too gray or too brown so i couldn't really find the right color um gray and blue only looked at like ikea but i figured that's the best deal for like what you get and we've always liked the look of the ikea like what is it the mom yeah mom dresser and side tables and that's what we ended up getting um we haven't gotten the dresser yet because they're out of stock so we basically just need to order that online we'll probably have it shipped here uh so we need to do that whenever we get the bed too but we figured we'd go ahead and start and put together the side tables and even put our bedding together, like the duvet and sheets and stuff, and just go ahead and replace that on his bed. Um, and then we'll just switch it out whenever we order a new bed. So I'll show you guys the current state of the room and kind of like our plans for it. I can show you a little more, but we're just going to go ahead and do these few things tonight um, and get them out of the way. And then hopefully soon we'll be able to finish the rest of the bedroom. And then hopefully after that, not too long, we can do the guest bedroom. But this is obviously gonna be like the priority. So yeah, we're gonna showcase your room. Let's get it. He doesn't want to. <laughs> He's like, you're my room on YouTube. Y'all gonna see where I sleep. <laughs> well, that's not the weird part. It's just the no, fact no. that it's all your like college stuff. Like it's nothing. Like you can tell like a 23 year old boy lives alone in this house. This was look like a college boy room. It'd be you know kind of messy. Random things on the wall. Yeah, that's true. Alcohol, no, there's just nothing you know, in somewhere. here. That's my point is you just haven't filled it with any furniture and you've been here for however long because we've been waiting to do it, like I said, with transitioning into us living together in our wedding. 
yeah, that's the story. So this is the situation when you walk in. Um, like I said, this is just his old bed from his parents' house, actually. And just his college <laughs> blue bedspread. This was actually from my dorm. It was just a random blanket I brought here. Uh, like my freshman year dorm. So it's like this seafoam green kind of color. That's like one of his like childhood comforters too. So he just has everything thrown here. And if you didn't know, his parents um, moved out of state. So pretty much everything came here. All his stuff. So what is that? tool to open the boxes these are the dress or the side tables um over here we just threw all the bedding stuff that we're gonna put together a bunch of more <laughs> random pillows and comforters that need to find a place this table was from my dorm slash apartment um yeah so fan in the corner <laughs> and light we bought at ikea a long time ago it was like five dollars just to have something so, as you can see, it's ready to be filled with our actual, what we want. So, we're going to get to going with doing side tables, I guess. Let's get it. So, yeah, like I said, these are the mom, mom side tables. They're just the really simple, modern um, tables you've probably seen before. I mean, we'll show you, obviously, but they're just, like, the two drawers on each. And the dresser matches it perfectly. Uh, we're obviously going to put those on each side of the bed. I don't know what we're going to do with this table. It's probably going to go in the guest room for now. And then uh, the dresser is going to fit perfectly on this wall. We measured it, and it's um, going to have, like, what, maybe an inch on the end? So it's going to fit perfect um, right there, and I think that would just be nice. We'll either put, like, a TV or a mirror above it. Um, I f I'm thinking just a mirror because, I don't know, I feel like we're not going to watch TV up here. Well, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out because I do want a mirror in here somewhere, but I'm thinking in this corner. He just has like this one on the door right now, but I want to put that big IKEA mirror in this corner. So I feel like that would be nice and it would open up the room since he has a uh, window there, window there, window there. So all of that light will reflect if we put a big mirror here and we can get rid of this one. Um, yeah. So I think everything will fit well. Sorry it's loud, he's taking out and stuff, but I'm excited to finally have some furniture. Getting started. Oh, so what is this, like the inside? I actually like the color of that. See, it's like a tan. Confused. Hopefully this isn't too hard to put together. It's usually pretty simple. We just did my closet inserts from Ikea uh, not that long ago, if you want to check out that video. Yeah, I'm super excited. I never see that Ikea mirror in store, though. You have to know, like, which one I'm talking about. Everyone has it. I think it might only be, like, for, like, available online, but it would fit perfect there. It's just huge. It's, like, a hundred-something dollars um, for a huge mirror, so it's a really good deal. And I love that we have, like, the super high ceiling, so it's going to be great. I guess we'll see if we want to put a fan in here or something, because that thing yeah. has got to go. Oh, you want to put a fan? Oh, you're going to do away with your little black stand fan? <laughs> I thought you loved it so much. I feel like I don't want to keep this, though. I don't know. Maybe. My style keeps changing. I keep, like, not liking gold and then liking gold again, and then... I don't know. But for the most part, I want to keep it really simple, so we'll have to see if that fits. But really excited to do a mirror. I'm trying to decide if I'm even going to... If I have room to do, like, a makeup table, I'd do it here. Because the makeup table I have now is just, like, really thin. It's, like, a piece of glass probably about that big that wide um and then it would take up pretty much a little bit past each side of the window and i would just have a stool that fits right underneath it it's a piece of glass on like two columns so for one i don't really know if i like the look of that i kind of do but no nah, probably not i think i might just have to transition to doing my makeup on the bathroom um like a normal person but i've been so used to doing it at my table like right in front of a window but I think it's just gonna get too cluttered over here. So I don't know, we'll see. And it's nice because those side tables aren't like super big. Um, so we'll probably have some room on the sides to either put like fake plant if we want to do that there or we'll have some room over there. But it's look like we're gonna get started on these. Is it something I can do like with you on the other one? Like as you do it, like we can do it together? Probably not. <laughs> I don't have that much faith in me, not you.
Okay, update. At first we did the whole thing backwards, so we had to take it apart and redo it, but it's fine. So we have, this is obviously gonna be the base of it and then we'll put the drawers, hopefully it's not too hard. And those, the mine's backwards here. So those are the beams on that side to make the drawers. And then this is the front view. So it's been quite the project, but we're getting it done. It's so satisfying. I usually don't put together like any of the stuff, but it's looking good. did it. I think that took a little longer than expected, but <laughs> it was fine. We did it. Okay. We're going to do the bedding and then call it a night. But it was a success. They look good. I think we're going to get the glass tops for them. We weren't sure at first. I like the look of them without it, but I don't know. I feel like they're going to get messed up. And obviously his bed right now is like huge. So they're going to look really like small, but the bed we're going to get is like a lot lower to the ground and like thinner. So it'll go good um, when we get that. I'm gonna get rid of this blanket, I hate it. Oh, why are your little straight sheets? My gosh, why is so soft? I've never felt that. What is this, your mattress? Why is it so soft? I've never felt a mattress that's like- I love a mattress. Plush. I've never seen that, ever. Yeah, I'm right here, we need to rotate this. You want to? We're just gonna rotate it again when we get the bed. Or we could have done this when we actually get the bed. Oh well, we're gonna do that anyways. Yeah, that's why part of me is like, it's kind of pointless that we're doing this right now, but it's fine. So we got these sheets at Target tonight. They're actually like the Room Essentials brand. Um, they're the microfiber ones, and I've like had these on all my beds, my dorm, apartment, and even like my bed at home. And they're, I don't know, I just like them a lot better than like regular like threaded, I don't know, linen sheets. Um, so these are so much cheaper because they're microfiber and I just love the feeling of them. I feel like they're so much softer and just like, they're almost like satiny without obviously being satin. So I don't know. I just like the feeling of these. And I mean, I kind of didn't want to like cheap out on our bedding, but it's not the fact of me like trying to save money. It's the fact that I actually like these better. So we're going to put these on. And like I said, if you haven't felt these before, go feel the Target Room Essentials microfiber sheets. They're so soft and like even more comfortable to sleep in. So we're gonna put these on. We're actually, we are gonna wash them. We're gonna wash them and then come back and put them on the bed. Okay, time to put the sheets on. We'll do the fitted sheet, obviously first. And then it usually says like top and bottom. Well, I usually get, I can't believe we got the room essentials. Okay, let's go this way. I'm telling you though, they're so soft. Oh, I cannot believe you're gonna have all white bedding. I've dreamt of this day for so long. No offense to your blue striped bedding. Oh, look at how nice. We basically want our bed and bedroom to feel like a hotel. So once we get a new bed, make everything really sleek, it's gonna look really nice. I'm so excited. Can't come soon enough. Like I said, hopefully we're gonna get the bed soon. This needs to go this way. Okay, this is the comforter we got at Ikea. It's the Smaspor, Smaspor, you know, no one can ever say the names. Um, for full queen. All this stuff I feel like was like full slash queen, which is weird because they're not the same thing. But we'll see, this was like a, I think kind of like middle cooling one because I don't know, like I feel like we don't want to be like too hot or too cold. And the duvet cover is, what is it, Anne's? Anne's Shilcha. <laughs> And Shlesia. We were looking at the one, what is it, like Ophelia or something? Which I feel like is really popular, but we saw this and we liked it better. It just seemed kind of like a clean linen with like a little bit of texture. Um, really like billowy and I've never done like a duvet and duvet cover. I've always had just like, 
like comforters in one piece. So we're gonna figure out how to attach this and hopefully it turns out okay. I know there should be like a little like, button. But it's not thing. Not snap, I think it's like a tie. And then this duvet cover also comes with the shams. Yeah. The duvet feels linen-y, which I like. And then like we have like the really soft sheets, which I think is a good combo. Um, also these sheets are really, really white. This, this is a little bit of an off-white, but I think it'll be fine. It'll go. So yeah, I've like I said, I've never put together a duvet, a duvet cover. So this part's closed and the corner of that side's closed. So we gotta shove it yes. in here and shove it in the corner. Okay. So there's no other like snaps anywhere else? Probably not. But it's gonna make it so like plush, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know how reliable IKEA furniture is or furniture bedding. It's probably just stuck with Target sheets because I know they're really good. I don't know. If y'all prefer duvets, let me know because I'm not really saying it. There's a big tag in here. We're gonna have to redo this. Well, we're gonna wash it anyway, so I just wanna see how it looks. Oh, it looks so comfy. Oh, yes. This looks so good on the other bed. I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, so you see there's like little snaps. This really should be the bottom, I'm pretty sure. So we'll flip it around. Oh, look how comfy. I think this comforter though that we got is gonna be good. Having the, um, like the medium kind of cooling one. Okay, let's do the, which one of your sleeping pillows? Where are your sleeping pillows? I don't even know what. You had a long one? I'm telling you, I knew you had a long one. You don't have any normal size one. That's normal. Do you sleep on these? <clears throat> yes, these are the sleeping ones that came with the sheets. And then the duvet came with a, um, like the shams. Okay, sleeping pillows. Go. And I'll do the shams. And we bought queen sized pillows from Ikea. These are the Vild Corn. It's very Swedish. Vild Corn. Now obviously we don't have any throw pillows or anything yet, but that's the idea. And I feel like this will be more like, I don't know, we need to make it kind of messy looking. And that makes it look all super comfy. And I think we're going to get some kind of like tan colored like quilt or like knit throw maybe. And we're going to put that there. Just going to give it some of that like tan and gray color. But like I said, the bed is going to be low to the ground, really like modern and um, maybe like some kind of fabric upholstery on it. And then it's going to tie in like that tan and gray color. But this is great for the bedding and we'll probably have like some lighter colored um, tan throw pillows that we're going to put like with this. So I think that looks good. It's coming together for sure. <laughs> I think everything that looks good side tables look good it even doesn't even look bad with like the color of your bed it makes the color look better like it looks kind of like coastal and i usually don't like this color wood like that red wood but it looks kind of pretty and comfy um we're still gonna change it but it definitely makes it look better and then this is just like the perfect kind of like messy um linen i almost wish we or think we could have got a king and like made it like extra fluffy oh well anyways i think it looks good and it was a success, even though it took all night. <laughs> so that is the end of this house update vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for a lot more, obviously, coming up. Uh, as soon as we get our dresser in our bed, we're probably going to do another update. Again, stay tuned for more, and I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye.